Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today, it's another What's for Dinner. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of fun here. I do What's for Dinners every single Friday. I do grocery hauls on Monday, and every now and then, I throw in some home decor stuff too, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Before we get started in this week's meals, I wanted to mention that I'm still accepting new recipes for the Subby Supper segment here on my What's For Dinners. If you're new, Subby Supper is just where you send in recipes, your favorite recipes, and you share a little bit about you and your family and why y'all love that recipe. And then I choose one each week and feature it here on my What's For Dinner. If you would like to submit your recipe, email me at mandyinthemaking2018 at gmail.com. All right, so let's get into this week. It's Saturday and today we're gonna to be making a cob salad and some of those ingredients we're going to pick from our garden. So I'm gonna bring y'all along. We're gonna get started on the marinade for the chicken. So I'm gonna combine that here and get the chicken in the marinade in the fridge for about 30 minutes. We're gonna add about a quarter of a cup to a third of a cup of olive oil. We've got a half teaspoon of paprika, a half teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're gonna use the juice of one lemon. You could always use chicken tenderloins for this too if you have those on hand. We just happen to have these chicken breasts that we needed to cook up. We're gonna make some ranch dressing to go on top of our cob salad. Even though most cob salads use blue cheese, we're not a huge fan of the blue cheese dressing, so we're making ranch putting in a half a cup of Duke's mayonnaise, a half a cup of milk, and about a tablespoon and a half of ranch powder. I'm just gonna shake this all up and then stick it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. While we're waiting on the chicken to marinate and the ranch to set up, I need to go ahead and hard boil my eggs. I'm gonna use this awesome contraption that I love so much. I got this from Amazon last summer and we use it all of the time. It does perfectly hard boiled eggs and it does it in about 18 minutes. It doesn't take much at all, and they peel a lot easier when you use this. It comes with this little container, and it has a line for hard-boiled eggs, so I filled up my water to there. I'm just gonna pour that directly in here. Now, at the bottom of this, I just take that little cover off, and there is a sharp point right there. You're gonna take the fat end of your egg and just poke a hole in it. Then, pop it in there. Now we're just gonna put the lid on it, plug it in, turn it on, and it will beep at me when it's done. And if you're interested, I've got this linked in my Amazon store below. It's only about $20. This is six slices of bacon. I'm just gonna cut them up into little pieces before we cook them. These are done, so I'm gonna throw these into an ice bath just to cool them off so they won't be hot on our salad. Whew, let's try that again. They're a little hot to the touch. Thank you. 
Got the ranch dressing on top. Let's just get into this. There's so much going on here. Oh wow. Oh that avocado with the blue cheese. That's incredible. It's really good. Let's get some of this chicken here. I marinate on chicken. Oh man. A little bit of that blackened sort of marinade with the charcoal flavor and the and then when it hits the ranch, that cool ranch. Mm. That's really good. I'm glad that the, the meat is sort of chilled. It's been resting for a while, so it's not hot. This is great for summertime. It's exactly what you want during the summer when it's hot. Hey y'all, tonight we're getting started a little late on dinner, but that's totally okay because this dinner only takes 20 minutes. It's honey garlic shrimp. The first thing I'm gonna do is thaw out the shrimp. I have frozen shrimp on hand. It's already peeled, deveined, and the tail is off, but we need to put it in this colander and run some cool water over it to defrost it. Now that I've got my shrimp thawed out, I'm gonna make the marinade to pour over it and let it sit and marinate for about 15 minutes in the fridge. We need a fourth a cup of soy sauce, a third a cup of honey, a tablespoon of minced garlic, and optional is a teaspoon of fresh minced ginger. I'm gonna pour just about half of the marinade on top of the shrimp and stick it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. You can let this marinate for up to eight to 12 hours in the fridge if you want to. So if this is something you wanted to do before you head to work for the day, that would be a good idea. And then it would be ready for you to pop on the stove when you get home. While our shrimp is hanging out in the fridge, I'm gonna start on some red lobster garlic cheddar biscuits as well as we're gonna do some instant brown rice to go along with this tonight, and I'm gonna pop a bag of steamable broccoli in the microwave. Tonight's dinner is so easy. Go ahead and melt the butter for the top of the biscuits. I've got this skillet on medium high heat. So we added the shrimp in here and discarded the extra marinade that it was sitting in. We're gonna let this cook for about 45 seconds on one side and then we're gonna flip it. We're gonna take the rest of the marinade and pour it over top and let them finish cooking. It only took about another minute more. They're done, so let's eat. shrimp in a while. Oh yeah. Oh that's really good. The shrimp is cooked perfectly. That's <laughs> really good. Garlicky sauce. It's sweet. It's got the little the saltiness of the soy sauce. The sweetness of the honey. And that good garlic flavor. And then just that 
little hint of um, the minced ginger. It's really good. I just love this sauce. Hey y'all, tonight we're having oven baked barbecue ribs. We're having some mac and cheese, homemade, we've never made before, and it's actually a recipe from one of y'all. It's part of our Sunday supper, I'll get to that later. And we're gonna have some green beans cooked low and slow on the stove. Before we get started preparing the ribs, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to about 275. I'm really excited about cooking these ribs today. You know, they can be really intimidating to make. Um, a lot of people think that you have to have a smoker or you have to be really great with the grill, but these are gonna be cooked inside. The last 10 minutes or so, we're gonna throw them on the grill, but you don't even have to do that. You could just turn on the broiler. But these are great for any summer get together that you might have, and they're super, super simple, and they're gonna be falling off the bone. The first thing we're gonna do is take the ribs out of the package. We're gonna wash them off and dry them really good before we get started. Now that we've got these good and dry, I'm gonna get this membrane off of the back. Now we've got these on our baking sheet. We're gonna cover them with another piece of aluminum foil before we put them in the oven. These are ready to go in the oven. They're gonna go in at 275 for three to four hours, basically until they're really tender. We're gonna get started on the barbecue sauce. We're adding in a half a cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and one tablespoon of chili paste. This is the chili paste we used. If you don't have chili paste, you could definitely use chili sauce. I'm also gonna add about a dash of salt and a dash of pepper. want our onions really finely diced, so I'm gonna go ahead and run the knife through these just to get them a little bit smaller. We've got this skillet over medium heat. I'm gonna add some EBOO. I'm gonna add my diced onion. We're gonna add in a half a teaspoon of cumin. These are done, they smell so good. So we're gonna add in our barbecue sauce. We're gonna bring it to a good simmer. Now that it's simmering, I'm gonna turn it down to low and pop the lid on and let it sit for two to three minutes. This is done, it's kind of thickened up a little bit. We're gonna remove it from the heat and let it start to cool. You don't want it hot when it's going onto the ribs. So we're gonna let that hang out and come to room temperature. So if you follow me on Instagram, you got a behind the scenes look this week. I went out to pick some stuff from the garden and this was one of the things I went to go pick. And on my way out to the garden, I got stung by a honeybee in the arch of my foot. It was fun, <laughs> but it's worth it. We're gonna go ahead and rinse these off and get these on the stove. Got the lid on this. I'm gonna put it on the stove top and bring it up to a bowl and then I will put it on low and let it simmer until the ribs are done. We're getting close to time for the ribs to come out and that means we need to go ahead and prepare the mac and cheese. And tonight's mac and cheese recipe comes from one of you. So tonight it is our subby supper. 
Tonight's subby supper was sent in by Juanita. Juanita said that this is one of her family's favorite dishes. And this dish, this uh, mac and cheese, is just a little bit different than anything I've ever seen, so we're excited to give it a try. Just a little bit about Juanita. She has one grown daughter and four grandchildren. She said she's been cooking since the age of 10. Her grandmother taught her how to cook, and she's been loving cooking for over 40 years. And she said she was the best cook in her family until this past Christmas when she taught her oldest granddaughter, who is 10, how to cook. And she said that, that her granddaughter outshines her now, which I think is precious. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Do you want some subby supper? Grace, it has cheese. Yeah. <laughs> we just need one small onion, diced or chopped. So I'm gonna do that now. We're gonna saute that in some butter. boiling because we do have to boil the noodles. We have to boil the noodles. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna get water in a pot so we can boil the noodles before we put everything in the oven. I've got a pretty small skillet over here with some butter melting and I'm gonna saute the onions in here while the noodles are cooking. Okay, now that we've got the noodles cooked and the onions sauteed, we just need to mix everything together. I do need to whisk this egg though. two heaping tablespoons of sour cream, two heaping tablespoons of Duke's mayonnaise. She said it has to be Duke's, which is not a problem for us, we love Duke's. I've got the sauteed onions, a teaspoon of garlic powder. This is just a packet of Velveeta cheese sauce. It's a four ounce packet. We're gonna add in about six ounces of the Mexican blend cheese and about six ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. This is about 12 ounces. So I'm gonna put in half of it and the other half will go on top when it goes in the oven. Now we're gonna put the remainder of the cheese on top. It's been about three and a half hours, so let's take the ribs out of the oven. Ooh, that's a lot of steam. Okay, so this is going in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put the barbecue sauce on the ribs. And then at this point, you could stick your ribs back in the oven under the broiler for about five minutes, just long enough to let this sauce kind of caramelize. But we're gonna go put it on the grill just so that we can get a little bit of that smoky charcoal flavor. Just, I think they're gonna go on the grill for like around 10 minutes or so, not very long, but you could do it either way. look amazing. So this is my slab. I don't know what the boys plan on eating, but this is mine. <laughs> Let's cut this up. Oh my gosh. They're just falling apart, <laughs> babe. I am really excited about this. This is going to be amazing, I can just tell. First of all, look at that, huh? <laughs> oh man, 
falling off the bone. Here, let me just, here, let me just pull that out. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. All right, let's get into this rib meat here. That's exactly what you want right there. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This sauce is out of this world. You gotta make these ribs. All right. Now let's get into the subby supper. When this came out of the oven, it smelled so heavenly. I mean, it just has this wonderful aroma to it. So I am so excited about this. I can't even describe this. This is like nothing like any macaroni I've ever had. That is really super, super flavorful. I mean, the creaminess of it and the cheesiness of it is just over the top. All right, so we give this one a huge thumbs up. How about two thumbs up? Oh, we got three in there. Somebody put some love in this, for real. <laughs> Thank you, Juanita, for sending us this recipe. We are so excited. I can't wait to try it. I'm going to try it here in just a second. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.